Okay, I'm back and I am coming at y'all today with part two of the I'm not buying it uh, series. <laughs> yes, there are just a few things that I have learned and run across since being natural uh, that I'm not just buying. I'm just not going to buy into. I'm not subscribing to that. I didn't sign up for that and I'm just not going. So I'm going to share those things with you. Uh, when I left off, we were on number six. Uh, and number six is hair grease. Y'all already know. My grandmother used grease on my mother's hair. My mother used grease on my hair. I used grease on my daughter's hair. You cannot tell me. I don't care what you say. What your scientific facts prove up. You, I'm just not buying it. Uh, you cannot tell me that when I was a little girl I had ponytails down to oh my Jesus okay I had ponytails up here that hung down on my shoulders my hair was gorgeous but now all of a sudden grease ain't good for my hair now all of a sudden it's gonna dry my hair out no petroleum no mineral oil no this that and the other and grease is of the devil no ma'am I'm not buying it I'm not buying it I'm sorry I'm just not going I'm gonna use my grease <laughs> I'm gonna grease my scalp when I feel like it I'm gonna use grease on my hair when I feel like it and you know of course it's a matter of choice you know what I'm saying if you choose to that's fine if you choose not to that's perfectly fine but to tell me that something that has been done for a hundred years is wrong mm -mm. I'm not buying it just because I'm natural now I'm not supposed to use grease that I've been using all my life no ma'am mm -mm. I'm not buying it okay number seven heat styling as a natural uh, some people would like us to think that all heat is bad and if you use heat you're going to ruin your curl pattern and heat is just of the devil hell heat fire no I'm not going okay as little girls we the majority of us got our hair pressed uh, it wasn't flat irons and all of that back in my day well there were flat irons but they was the Marcel kind but uh, I got my hair pressed once a week, every week. My Aunt Jenny pressed my hair. And when I tell you, like I said, my hair was absolutely gorgeous. My curl pattern reverted every time. <laughs> you know, and my hair did absolutely fine. So I'm not subscribing and I'm not buying into, oh, the heat is bad. The heat is this, that, and the other. If you fry your hair, then yeah, the heat is going to be bad. If you choose to use heat in excessive amounts and you want to use heat all the time, then yes, heat can be bad. But is heat styling your hair here and there bad? No, it's definitely not. And do you have to be scared and trembly and, you know, fearing for your curl pattern every time you use heat in your hair? No, you don't. I'm not buying it. I'm not subscribing to that at all. I'm just not going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Number nine, alcohol free equals less drying. No, 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 no. I have used a gazillion all natural products that was alcohol free. Baby, that dried my hair out like the Sahara Desert. Don't go for that. Don't fall for that. Just because a product is not contain alcohol does not mean that it's not going to dry your hair out. Alcohol free does not mean it's going to be any less drying to your hair. A product could not have no alcohol in it, baby, and dry your hair out so bad, I'm telling you. It, it'll feel like a tumbleweed, a cotton ball. So be careful with that alcohol free and, oh, it's alcohol free. I better get it. You better not. Okay. I'm not buying it. Uh, let me see. No, that was number eight. Number nine. Rules. Hair typing. I'm not behind either one, okay? Let me just say, as a natural, for the new naturals, there are no rules to this thing. The only rule that you need to know is 
Find what works for your hair and use it. No matter who make it, no matter who sell it, no matter whether it's in the store or you got to buy it online. If it works for your hair, use it. Use it. Don't get caught up in that, oh, I got to do the curly girl method or I got to do the tightly curly method or I got to not use these silicones. I got to stay away from those. You know, don't don't fall into that now there are some things health wise that are uh, better to stay away from you know what I'm saying and those things if you choose not to use those I totally understand you know using all natural products as a way to stay away from harmful chemicals that can affect us in the long run in our bodies or whatever I understand that but there are no rules there are no rules to this natural hair thing there are no rules to relaxed hair things there are no rules period so don't get sucked into that oh i gotta follow this and i gotta do that and i gotta bring that and i gotta use this don't fall into that okay the last thing i want to talk about is a regimen you do not have to have a regimen to have healthy hair you do not have to follow a regimen to have healthy hair using someone else's regimen is not going to give you healthy hair you can go on YouTube and you can watch everybody on YouTube's regimen and that do not guarantee you do not mean by any stretch of the imagination that it's gonna work for you get down get y'all excuse me get down I'm sorry y'all that's my cat anyway <laughs> you don't have to have a regimen I do what I do to my hair when my hair needs it now I just told y'all I wash my hair every week and I normally do that but I've been using a new product line shout out to no Kim naturals uh, and I have not washed my hair and I am rocking the exact same twist out and I know it's been a good seven eight days that i've been rocking this same hair and i'm just not getting ready to wash it i'm gonna wash it today maybe tomorrow you know so i can say that i've gotten two weeks out of this hair and i did not wash it and i did not follow a regimen and i'm not gonna follow a regimen i do what my hair wants me to i do what my hair needs you know i give my hair i listen to my hair i don't uh write down a regimen on sunday i'm gonna do this on wednesday i'm gonna do this on friday i'm gonna do that then on sunday i'm gonna start over i'm not subscribing to that i'm not buying into that that's not necessary it may be helpful uh for someone who is newly natural to try to start off with a certain regimen but honestly when i was newly natural and my hair was you know maybe a inch and a half long or whatever all i did was co-wash my hair every day I co-washed every single day and my hair was just fine and it was not part of a regimen and it was not nothing that I was stuck to or it was set in stone that I did and I didn't deviate from it mm -mm. so those are 10 things that I am just not buying into I am just not subscribing to uh, I don't believe in <laughs> And I want you all to tell me in the comments section, what are some of the things that you have come across since being natural, you know, or being relaxed? Because I know I have some relaxed ladies that watch me. Uh, but what are some of the things that you have come across that you're just not buying into? You're just not subscribing to? You're just not here for that, you know, and you're not just, you ain't going. Tell me what are the, some of those things that you just ain't going on, you know, not at gunpoint. I'm not going. Uh <laughs> I definitely appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them respectfully, respectfully in the comments section, and I'll definitely get back to you. Mwah. Be beautiful, divas.